for taking the snooze with us to pig to the TIG. Just coming at you with another video. Hope you like it. It's going to be just as as the other ones. Guaranteed. If you don't like it, shame on you. Anyway, have fun. Don't be drinking nothing. Because you'll spit water out your nose. That's a guaranteed. I'll see you later. Bye. What you going to wake me up for? Hello, I'm King Brando. And today I'm going to be talking about new trucks, new equipment, new mowers, and the boost it can give you, and ways, if you can't get that, ways that you could um, keep up with the Joneses, with old equipment, such as the 2013 Dixie Chopper. Today on The King's Speech. As you see, and I want to thank you for watching another episode of Lawn Stars, and please subscribe for more, uh, more variety of material, I'll say. We're not your everyday lawn care channel, and as you'll see, we're a little bit vulgar sometimes. But it's not the words that are dirty, it's the minds, I must say. So if you have an old truck and you have to work on it constantly, it gives you pride for when you fix it and it runs for a couple years, it gives you pride that you brought back a great generation of truck. You, uh, you brought it back from the dead. 2007, found in the junkyard. Uh, I believe it was um, Copart. We found that at. And it was in really bad shape. I mean, it, look, it's not the prettiest truck out there, the shiniest truck. You know, that good, the, the truck, the reliable truck, the new truck, that is great. That's what, that'll keep you going for a couple years without having to worry about it. So that's good if you have the money to do that, I say do it. But if you do not have the money to do that, and I believe as king, I'm talking for the solo guy, the little guy. When you don't have the money, you've got to find ways to be crafty. And the only way you can do that is by learning your internet, Learn it more in depth about not just the entertainment side of it or YouTube or anything. Just learn how to uh, find great deals on there and not get scammed. Got to watch the scams. Find you a good truck that is uh, reliable, a good old truck that you can have pride in saying that you worked on it. I mean, I didn't work on it as much as cornbread, but we're going to change out that tire right there probably take apart the engine at some point and rebuild it and then uh, you know as far as the as far as the Dixie chopper over here you could find one of those I'm sure pretty cheap on Craigslist locally near you and you can the the beautiful thing about the Dixie chopper let me let me say this for one thing the beautiful thing about the Dixie Chopper is you can find parts at the AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, anywhere. You know, they're very easy to work on um, once you learn them, learn where all the parts are and what they do. Very, they're very easy to work on, and that is the selling point to me because I've had that thing for seven years now, and it's still going strong. I'm not worried about financing this and financing that all the time. F that. Let's go talk about tools. No, I'm not talking about Nick. When you do it raw dog style, oh, by the way, we're working on this truck too here. Cornbread, thank you. I just want to say thank you for uh, keeping King Brando going and getting that content out. Uh, when you're raw dogging it, you got all kinds of toolboxes. You know, there's just all kinds of stuff in here. You know, it's not necessarily organized. 
You know, but I mean, it is. You got, uh, you got pliers or, and uh, channel locks, vice grips, uh, all kinds of electrical stuff. Cornbread, you're doing it, and you're doing it well. Let me just say that right now. The X mark that you've kept running, and how old is it? 2008? Maybe. 2008 X mark. Still going strong. This is how you do it. Get a weed eater. It'll, it should last you two years. Get another one so you're not putting the wear and tear on that one. And it'll last you maybe longer. Alternate weed eaters in between yards. Don't be a tool. It's not what you got. It's how you use it. Size, sometimes it matters. In my case, it doesn't. <laughs>What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on with me. Ever since I stopped some of my erratic behavior and I apologize to everyone, my numbers have been slumping. So I was thinking, what can I do? And I thought back a few weeks ago, I was looking through my comics and uh, I came across an ad for hypno glasses. And I thought, what the hell? And I ordered them. Well, they came in today and not a moment too soon, because I need some help. So I'm going to try them today on you, if that's okay. And even if it's not okay, cuckoo! Hey, not bad. I like them. Do you like them? Well, let's get to growing some channels. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie's, Maddie's lawn care. Oh my goodness, $65. Wow, apparently these things are working. Wow, everybody pick up Maddie's if you don't already have him and <laughs> Eminem! Eminem's lawn care gave me 80 bucks! I can't believe it! Oh, I gotta go get my wife. Hold on. Honey, you're not gonna believe it. These damn things work. <laughs> what do you think about it? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. That's amazing. And... Oh, I'm spitting lawn care. 75 bucks. Oh, baby. It's a gold mine. This has been a Lone Stars Dramedy Network presentation dolling.